Yo, no intro. Fuck the intro. We got a scrappy in the building. I was gonna make a drink, but fuck that. Skip Bayless scumbag ass don't deserve me to make a drink. Skip Bayless, you a real fucking piece of shit. Look, I know a lot of a lot of people that fuck with my page. Ernie Shafter, check it out. I uh, think I give Rain a hard time, but this is gonna be the first time I ever actually call him Dak on anything. For for anyone to make fun of any anyone. Not just an athlete, but anyone that talks about having depression, especially as a man. You know how hard that shit is as a man? You know, Imagine it ten times harder as an athlete. For Skip Bayless to come at fuck, yo, to come at Dak like that, that was fucked up. Yo, Skip Bayless, congratulations, you're a fucking scumbag. You are a piece of shit. You are a piece of shit. Like, you are, I can't, you are the scum of the fucking earth. For for those who missed it, Rain came out and said, due to the death of his brother, I don't really want to get into that, but, and COVID, and so he couldn't really, like, there was a lot going on for him, and he said, you know, he really felt he went through some things, and I think that's really important uh, for athletes, especially, like, I mean... Uh, you can say what you want about the Dallas Cowboys, but it's still America's team, right? Like, this is not the time for me to hate on Dallas. Uh, I'm extremely proud of Dak and what he did. I think uh, it was breathtaking for me as a man. I've spoken on my issues about this, and I'm very proud of him. And for anyone, anyone, and I mean absolutely fucking anyone, to attack a man... Who is being completely honest. And especially with the format he has. With the lives he can change. You simple dumb fuck. Skip Bayless, congratulations. You are probably the most ignorant motherfucker in the history of the world of the universe. The fact that you would come at Dak like that is fucking disgusting. Is fucking disgusting. Alright? Your mother, your grandmother, your great grandpa, they should all be fucking ashamed of you. You are a fucking scumbag. This is bullshit, man. Yo, just because a guy fucking confesses to going through some hard times, he can't lead a team? Yo, people put on fake smiles all the time and go to work. People put on fake smiles all the fucking time and go to work. Get the fuck out of here. It's your bitch ass, man. You got me fucked up, Skip Bayless. It's your bummy ass. This motherfucker, I'll tell you what right now. I ain't even make another drink. You don't deserve another drink. That motherfucker don't deserve no shots. You know what, though? I will take a shot for Dak. Because it, it takes a real man. And look, fellas, this should tell you everything you need to know, man. Real men speak up. They say, look, I'm having a hard time. Like... I don't have a history of depression, but I've been depressed. And it's hard. It's mad and it's hard, right? Because we're supposed to be... Scrappy even knows. We're supposed to be big, strong men. And when we say, like, yo, we are we have depression or we're going through some shit, like, as men, it makes us feel weak. And in society, it makes us feel weak. And if we're being honest, society views that as being weak. And that's why I really, really... Uh, appreciate what Dak came out and did. Uh, I think it was amazing. Uh, I mean, he's not the first one. Kevin Love came out and said it. Brandon Marshall came out and said it. Other athletes have come out and said it, but I think it's breathtaking and moving when a man comes out and says something like that because it helps a lot of men. And, it, yo, it, even even females be like, Wow, if an NFL quarterback can come out and say that and be comfortable with it, then the fucking ignorance of fucking Skip Bayless blows me the fuck away. I guarantee you what Dak said tonight saved at least 100 lives. And we're talking baseline, right? It's probably closer to 500 to 1,000. We're talking baseline. I'm just so impressed and incredibly blown away. You couldn't... It was... 
I was, it was a weird day because as blown away as I was by what he said, I was fucking furious by fucking scumbag Skip Bayless's shit. Stupid fucking ignorant piece of old fucking white people shit, you trash bag dick sucking motherfucker. Oh, you are fucking scumbag. Skip Bayless is a fucking scumbag. All right, well, I feel like I called him a scumbag 17 times. It's not enough, so let's go for 18. You're a fucking scumbag, Skip Bayless. I'm going to end the video now. I say that to say this. Guys, if you have depression, whether it's long-term or if you have short-term depression, I have. I'll be, yo, I'll speak up right now. I'll tell you right now. When my YouTube page got fucked up, I was... I was not doing too good for a couple days. I was in a tizzy. You know what I mean? I was in a tizzy. Life isn't always the greatest. Life isn't always the greatest. So, to shit on someone for... Especially someone who can change lives. It's, I, I can't comprehend it. It fucking blows me away. So, I'm very proud of Dak today. Uh, this is coming from the fucking biggest Giants fan ever. But big ups to Dak, man. <clears throat> big ups to Dak. <sighs> big ups to Dak. And I hope that I hope that it inspires more men to come out and be okay with not always faking having to be happy. Because I've done it. And I think, men, let's be real. I think we all have done it. Right? I think we've all have done it. So, big ups to Dak, man. Big ups to Kevin Love. Big ups to Brandon Marshall. And hopefully more athletes keep coming forward and speaking their truth. And I embrace that. So, uh, on a final note, let's say this. Skip Bayless is a fucking piece of human trash. I hope he gets eaten by a dinosaur, hit by a truck, motherfucking falls off a building. I don't know. Whatever kind of shit I can hope can happen to him. Because he is a fucking horrible human being. And I just wish the worst upon him ever. Yo, FS1 is going to make him apologize. He is a fucking piece of shit. That you horrible... I'd fight him, but he's like fucking 110. He's like a fucking vampire. You don't want to fight a vampire. So, in closing, Rain... My bad, Dak. Uh, I couldn't be prouder. I, I couldn't be prouder. So, thank you, Dak. Thank you. Fat Casper Mafia. Puff Gang. Pew Pew. Skirt Skirt.